Speed is one of the most important aspects of a sports car. As the car becomes extremely fast, it attracts massive attention and goes down in history. For this reason, companies that manufacture sports cars or hypercars improve their flagships every year to hit the headlines and make history. This is the list of cars built with the purpose of being the fastest and succeeding in that. Number 10 spot goes to Koenigsegg. The Koenigsegg Regera is a limited production plug-in hybrid grand touring sports car manufactured by Swedish automotive manufacturer Koenigsegg. The Regera was developed and designed to be a more practical, luxurious grand touring alternative to the rest of Koenigsegg's lightweight sports cars lineup. Initially the Agera and currently the Yesco. The Regera has a reported total power output of 1797 HP and an electronically limited top speed of 410 km per hour. It did not prove that speed, but in 2019, the Regera broke the 0 0400 km per hour acceleration record for a production car with a time of 31 seconds. While breaking the acceleration record set by its brother Agera RS, it topped out at 400 km per hour. That record attempt also showed that it is capable of accelerating to 100 km per hour in 2.8 seconds, 300 in 11 seconds, and 400 in 23 seconds. Furthermore, its price is $1.9 million. Koenigsegg holds the ninth spot as well. The Koenigsegg Agera R is a mid-engine sports car produced by Swedish car manufacturer Koenigsegg. It's a successor to the CCX. It is equipped with the twin turbo V8, which yields a little less power than some of the competition, but the car's lightweight makes up for a lot. With a peak power of 1115 HP in 2011, the Agera R set a new world record for driving 0 300. It managed to clock 300 km per hour in 14 seconds and stopped in 7 seconds. Also, at the Gran Turismo 2012, Agera hit 401.6 km per hour. When it comes to the classic acceleration stat, this beast can go from 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. Moreover, it is priced at $1.6 million. Number 8 spot on this list goes to two cars due to their close speeds. Bugatti Veyron is the slightly slower one. It is a mid-engine sports car designed and developed in Germany by Volkswagen Group and manufactured by French automobile manufacturer Bugatti. This is the first version of the Veyron and the first car in the world to go beyond the 250 miles per hour barrier. When Bugatti launched it, it was the fastest, most powerful and most expensive car in the world. The $1.7 million Veyron utilized a quad-turbocharged W16 engine to deliver 1000 HP to all four wheels. The car that was to be beaten at that time was the McLaren F1 and the Bugatti did it in style. German inspection officials recorded an average top speed at 408.4 km per hour during test sessions on Volkswagen Group's private test track in 2005. Additionally, it can go from zero to 100 in 2.5 seconds, to 200 in 7.3 seconds, and to 300 in 16.7 seconds. The faster one is a Bugatti Car 2. Bugatti also developed a convertible version named Grand Sport Vitesse. This unique car still holds the record for the fastest open top production car, and it is limited to only 92 units. In 2013, a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, driven at the same private test track of Volkswagen, became the fastest open-top sports car with a top speed of 408.8 km per hour. It is just as good as its brother at acceleration. It sprints to 100 km per hour in 2.5 seconds and to 200 in 7.3 seconds. However, with a price tag of $2.2 million, it is way more expensive. Number 7 is not a popular car company and it is 9FF. The 9FF GT9 is a sports car based on the Porsche 911, built by German tuning company 9FF. The company stated that only 150 GT9s would be produced and only 20 of those would have the most powerful engine. Prices were around $700,000 and all of them were already sold by the time the car was launched in the market. Its engine, Q3 
capable of producing 1120 HP, can propel the GT9 to 100 in 2.9 seconds and to 300 in 17 seconds. Furthermore, it hit a top speed of 409 km per hour. Moving into number 6, we got SSC Ultimate Aero. The SSC Ultimate Aero is a mid-engine sports car that held the title of the fastest production car in the world from 2007 to 2010. The speed test was witnessed by Guinness Records team and they certified the car for the top speed, which at the time was 412 km per hour. Packing a twin-turbo V8 engine, producing 1183 HP, it can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.8 seconds. When the car came out in 2007, its price was $740,000. At one point, it was a tight competition between Ultimate Aero and Bugatti Veyron, but that was a long time back. Since then, not only has the Bugatti gone faster, but also other cars like Hennessy and Koenigsegg have toppled the Ultimate Aero. Number 5. We have a tie between two cars that are not really close to each other, but I'll touch on the reason. First one is Hennessy Venom GT Spider. It is the open-top version of Venom GT and almost as fast as its brother. In 2016, GT Spider became the unofficial fastest convertible car by recording a top speed of 427 km per hour. To be considered legitimate, record attempts usually require a run in each direction and an average is taken to account for wind conditions, but the Spider's run was in a single direction. Especially to qualify for Guinness World Records, a minimum of 30 cars are required to be produced. However, only 4 spiders have been sold to date. This $1.3 million monster can also sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.5 seconds and to 400 in 18 seconds. So basically, I do not want to rank it the 6th due to its illegitimate record, but I'm also sure that it is fast enough to be mentioned. And the faster one at the 5th spot is Bugatti Chiron. The Bugatti Chiron is a mid-engine two-seat sports car developed and manufactured by French automobile manufacturer Bugatti. And I'm talking about the 2016 version of Chiron, not the newest one. There are two records this car broke. The first one is obviously the top speed and it is 420 km per hour. The second one is 0, 400, 0 km per hour acceleration time and Chiron completed that in 41 seconds. Bugatti also mentioned that during the run the car accelerated from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.4 seconds and to 200 in 6.1 seconds. In 2016, the first 200 cars were sold for 2.5 million dollars but now a new version of Chiron is around 3 million dollars. At the number 4, we have Bugatti Veyron Supersport. It was almost a tie between the standard Veyron and Ultimate Aero, till the Veyron Supersport's arrival. An impressive 1200 HP and a slew of aerodynamic improvements helped the Supersport to a top speed of 431 km per hour, clocked at Volkswagen's private test track. According to Guinness Book of World Records, the Bugatti team was successful in toppling the Ultimate Aero in 2010 and remained the fastest car in the world until 2017. Its run at the top was essentially unchallenged, despite a small hiccup from the Hennessy taking the top spot for a month. It also hit 100 km per hour in only 2.4 seconds and 200 in 6.7 seconds. Nowadays, it retails at $2 million. We are at the top 3 and the third fastest car is Hennessy Venom GT. The Hennessy Venom GT is a high-performance sports car manufactured by Hennessy Performance Engineering. In 2014, Hennessy revealed a Lotus-based supercar with the twin-turbo V8 and 1200 HP. Until that moment, the Texas-based tuner had merely modified performance cars, but this was the company's first standalone build. In 2014, with approval from the Kennedy Space Center, Hennessy recorded a top speed of 435 km per hour. Though the Guinness Book of World Records approved the run, it has received a fair bit of criticism. For one, most top speed records are taken from an average of two runs in opposite directions, but Hennessy hit the record only in one direction. Also, the Venom GT is a hand-built, low-production vehicle. Some have questioned whether it deserves to be counted among production cars. To qualify Guinness, there must be at least 30 units produced of that model, 
but Venom GT is limited to 13 units. However, there's an official record this car set and that is accelerating to 300 km per hour from a standstill. Venom GT hit that speed in only 13 seconds, making it nearly a whole second faster than a Gera R. During that run, it also hit 100 mark in 3 seconds. This monster costs $1.2 million these days. Coming in at the number 2nd spot is the car known as Koenigsegg Agera RS. The Agera RS is an advanced version of the Agera R, implementing some of the new technology and features of the R and the S models. Its V8 engine has a power output of 1160 HP, pushing the car to 100 km per hour in 2.9 seconds. First record RS broke is 0400 acceleration time and it completed that run in 36 seconds, beating the standard Chiron by 4 seconds. Then came the fastest run. The speed record was set in the US, where on a closed Nevada highway the Agera RS did an average speed of 447 km per hour. On the downhill run, when this is did, the Agera actually did 458 km per hour. Anyway, the record is 447 km per hour, trumping the Bugatti Veyron Supersports record finally in 2017. Thanks to its record-breaking stats, Agera RS costs $2.5 million. Before unveiling the fastest car, here are some honorable mentions. SSC Tuatara. The car is the successor to the SSC Ultimate Aero and it has a claimed top speed of 482 km per hour. Hennessy Venom F5, and this is the successor to the Venom GT with a claim top speed of 484 km per hour. McLaren Speedtail. It allegedly maxes out at 403 km per hour, but it is likely to prove that in 2020. Rimac C2. According to the Croatian company Rimac, this EV hypercar can top out at 415 km per hour. Koenigsegg Jesko and Jesko Absolute. Both cars are claimed by the manufacturer to have a top speed in excess of 483 km per hour. Especially, Absolute, which is the high speed version, might actually surpass 500 km per hour barrier. Finally, the winner of this list is Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. In August 2019, Bugatti presented a limited production high performance variant of the Chiron called the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. It did a top speed of 490 km per hour and became the first car to break the 300 miles per hour barrier. While most of the world was expecting the Koenigsegg to break the barrier first, Bugatti stole the thunder. Only 30 of those quad turbocharged W16 engines will be produced. Despite the great moment, Bugatti president has stated that Bugatti will no longer go for records and will focus on the other aspects of the car, which means that it may not be participating in any of the future race to the top. It is not only the fastest of this list, but also the most expensive one, priced at $3.7 million. When it comes to acceleration, it has a claimed time period of 2.1 seconds while achieving 100 km per hour, but it sounds possible considering how fast it is. Alright, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications.